Hi everybody, welcome back to Every Day with me, Nick. Uh, right, today we are starting something completely different to what we usually do. We are, um, well, becoming an apprentice. <laughs> uh, we have, well, so what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, is we're going to start being an apprentice doing some building work or try getting some experience doing it. Um, so I'm with someone, she doesn't like being on the camera, so she might not be in it, but... We've got a female builder, cracking job as well she does, so that's why I've decided to go with her. Uh, we're on a job site here, and um, the footings were dug, and the um, foundations were poured in without us being here, so we don't have any footage of that. <clears throat> um, it's rained a few days, so we're just, well, we're just clearing the last bits out now. Most of the water's come out as well. Um, working with a little bit of a offset paw so it's uh it's going to be up and down a little bit but we're going to get it back she's not bothered wait i'm not bothered because she knows what she's doing um laying trench blocks to start with then into engineers uh it's going to be is it um brick and block yeah brick and block 100 mil full filled cavity. cavity thermalites inside um I'll, t I'll pan you around a sec. There you've got the wall starters already on one side and then on the other side, just over there. Um, little issue we've got with this build, it might not be our problem, mate, like, but it's on quite a lot, uh, quite a bit of a hill. So where they've got this dug in, there's a big, there's a big um, side up on the other, like where the finished height's gonna be. So if you can see that. So there's quite a lot of landfill left in it, but hey, we'll get past it, I'm sure. Um, I've got a new product to show you later on as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show Liane who, who I'm working with. She's gonna see them as well. She might not see her on it, but I'm gonna try and get some audio, maybe, I don't know, to see what she thinks of them. And then everybody else can see. Everybody on YouTube loves them, so I'm sure she will too. Um, what else we got to do? about it really we're just going up the damp course aren't we yeah. so a couple of days cushy uh, like i said we're trench blocks down engineers and go from there so building it's a new well i do a bit right done a lot so we'll see how it goes so i'll put you on summit in a bit and show you what we're on with Ciao for now right so she just showed me how to set lines out onto uh onto builds and um so what we've done here <clears throat> well what she's done and i've i've watched so she she's got a, a screw in the wall off that wall starter here she's strung it along and she put some buttons into the floor to make it like a little jig <clears throat> she's got one coming in here ran out a string on on the pink line so we've got a pink line going across <clears throat> going across to this part here look into uh, some more screws to get the um, square of it and then over onto the wall there with another screw into the wall wall starters are up there just for reference at the moment if, the, if I think we'll be able to leave them where they're at once an open cavity so they've got to be cut um, for when this build goes up uh, it's a little bit uh, slippy inside with a bit of wet clay like leftovers that's alright we're a bit close on this end We're a bit close there, but it's, it's all right. She said she'd get away with that. Ooh. That old boss just scared the shit out of me. So she's happy. We've um, put a tape to it all. It's uh, it's good. Well, it's it's a couple. Of, it's a few mil out, couple of mil out, but that's fine. Um, you're happy with it. I'm happy with it. She's happy with it. So she's happy. I've no no difference. So we're just we've got a stiff mix going on there now. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get these uh, these these bottom courses set out with trench block. And I'm gonna set you up with a time lapse, and then we'll get some of it going. Then, ciao for now.
right, guys. She's she's broke me. Footings. First time I've ever used trench blocks and all. They're heavy. Every mofo's them like. So there they are. Trench blocks in. Laid down. Not done a bad job. <laughs> the hand's done better than me. <laughs> <laughs> to a quicker than me yeah you'll go you'll go do what you need to um we'll see right so we're just gonna she's just gonna pop one we're just gonna get a cup of tea and then on with engineers up, up to damp course and then that's it for the day very good but yeah not bad at all on next that next bit I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you this this new thing that I've just bought. So I'm going to show the anim as well and sit, get her a reaction, but without without a reaction. <laughs> if that makes sense. So um, yeah, we'll see you then. You're not on. You're not on. It's all right. Let Right, we're going to show show Leanne what we've got. But you you're going to have to listen to what she says because you ought to see a reaction. I'm going to give her the piece of paper first. Right, I'm going to leave a link in the description for these. And I don't know, have you heard of them? No. So it's, it's first time. He's made these clamps, or he had them designed years ago. And, you'll see, if you've, looked, if you've been on YouTube, you'll see them, right? These, you just, they're spring-loaded. Yeah. They're more used for internal corners, however, can be used for external, you know, external lines, yeah. right? So when you you know how you how you rack up on your corners, right? And then you you're left with you can't get a you can't get a line in, or you put a, you put a pin in, but it, it pulls it pulls it off, doesn't it? These you put it on the brick that's left. So we need a brick. We need. I'm disorganised, guys. I'm disorganised, guys. So when brick comes in, when you've got that on your inter obviously wrapped off of that, you put these with your lines onto the brick and you run your line off them. So you don't have to put a pin on them if you get or like spray your pin in a joint somewhere and then put a brick on top of that for your lines. Um obviously one at the other end. <laughs> what do you reckon? I'll watch you use it first. I'd, well I wanna watch <laughs> you use it because yeah. like I'm going to describe it to you. I don't think it looks all right. But so, I'm, I'm stuck in my ways. I'll probably go. That's to that's the, the thing, way. right? A lot of people <laughs> have said the same thing when they've been looking at it on YouTube. You know, when they've been reviewing them. So on YouTube, they're like, "Nah, we'll just spray a pin in, and the pin will fall out, or it'll lose its tension." That would work ideal. Where you tight against side. You know, yeah, because you, you can't break. Because look at that. that. If that's on your outer skin, see, you know, you've got what's that? Two, three mil. Stainless steel there. Well, you struggle to get your pins in it. You would work. never get a pin round. So, so once you've got that in, you know, and these can be used up to I think it's 120 or 140. That'd also stop the lines pulling as well when it pulls your brick, won't it? I like to see them work. These are fantastic. Where I've, where I've reviewed, where I've seen the reviews on them. So, and it, you know, that's that's basically how they sit on the top, and you you just run your lines off these in these notches. Then there's even places for your pegs to go as well, for your pins to go, so they're out the way. You, do, you know, just wrap them around a couple of times inside there, um, inside there, and then off you go. But they've got these mean jagged uh, teeth on them, as you'll see. Oh, I've give you the other one. No, I haven't have that. There you go. There's your own. You can have a look at that. And um, they're made out of stainless steel, three sixteen stainless, I think, and uh, it's, it's solid and it won't, uh, they'll, they'll, if they do rust it will only be surface maintenance, a little bit of WD-40 just on that sliding mechanism the spring's completely replaceable so if that breaks, wears out, whatever, done don't have to worry about any 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 shite in, in there because you can easily see it so yeah, just it, like just replace the blocks, you know. Like the, the a lot yeah. of people used to make their own blocks, didn't they? You know the oh, wooden my, blocks. The bricky arm, yeah. Where he's still got the wooden blocks. And he probably <laughs> made them in college. You know what I mean? And if you had to make another one, so be it. It's only a bit of four by two or something. Oh. But these, I think they're a, the, the, the the guy the guy invented them years ago. 
but he's only put them in production in the last few years. So, we might get to see them used. I don't know if we'll get to see them used today, like. Maybe not today. Because we're only doing... Well, we've got uh, two skin of um, thing going down, haven't we? Yeah, we've um, got four courses to go down. Four of engineers to go down. So, maybe, maybe not, we'll don't know. So, that's the, um, what they call the fit brick clamp. Um, and, yeah. Genuine fella from what I've watched online about him. So if you want to see that, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll also leave a um, link to his YouTube channel as well to see how to show the work. Uh, they're on Instagram as well. So give them a go. Um, they've really had good reviews. So that's it. Fitzbrink Clamp. Right guys, we've had a good day for in I think. Half a day. Leanne's broke me again like as usual here, so um we've got four cars for up there, that's up to DPC. There's gonna be a double damp going in as well. We've got the uh upright damp course up with the wall starters at either side as well. Uh there's this one up there, another over here. Uh, block work to go inside, concrete block, 7 Newton, yeah. 7 Newton inside, um, and then Thermalite from there on, from DPC, 
Um, yeah, it's been a nice day. It's gone out real well. I've enjoyed myself. <laughs> it's been nice to, to get, get it done professionally. So, yeah, it's been a great job. Thank you very much today for today. Um, I out here tomorrow, so she's going to get a bit more on with it. So I'm helping someone move. But yeah, grand job. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. I'm here with it, hopefully, maybe. So we'll see what's what. Ciao for now.